The scene on campus today is starkly different from yesterday. Students walking to class as usual, but yesterday, this was the scene. Heavy police presence after a man was shot on campus just before 5 p.m. Thursday. The university sent out a warning to all students, faculty and staff. And we didn't know what to do and then we're waiting for 15 minutes. Freshman Kyle Haley was on the other side of campus when the shooting happened. Students got another safety alert advising them to stay indoors when police started searching for a second suspect. Haley says he appreciated the constant updates from SDSU. I thought uh, the university responded pretty uh, hastily and it was pretty informant and it was like short messages that helped. Junior Megan Harris inadvertently walked through the middle of the crime scene without knowing it. When she got the alert about the police activity on campus, she thought nothing of it. I'm like I was like, oh, I got to get to work. When the campus sent out the safety alert telling people to stay inside, that's when it hit her. And that was a little bit more like frightening. I was like, oh, this is like actually like a serious situation. Police say the incident started here by the elevator and ended here at the corner of Campanile and Hardy. The wounded man was taken to a local hospital. His condition is unknown. One suspect was arrested near the wounded man. A second person, believed to be the shooter, was arrested a short time later. A gun was also recovered. Police are still searching for a third suspect. The university says none of the people involved are connected to the school. And it is offering supportive services for those affected by the shooting and by Thursday's fire. I am uh, feeling a little bit uneasy just because it's like not a really good first impression. But I think that made me feel definitely less safe. Harris has this message for would-be criminals. Please, if you're coming to do violent acts, don't come here. Like, we're just trying to get an education. Alexander Nguyen, KPBS News.